Hello there and welcome to Estancia La Pacho, Farming Simulator 2017 with me, Stocco Gloss. Oh, it's not very nice, it's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. Um, yeah, it's not very nice, it's uh, it's pouring down here. And um, yeah, it's 11.35 in the morning, but it feels like uh, night time. Oh, there you go, there's the rain effects. So, um, okay, I've done a little bit of tidying up. Um, from the last episode, uh, what I've done is I've moved the um, the compact tractor from the sheep farm uh, over or the sheep pasture over to here, and I, because it started raining, I had to move the seeds. Uh, although it just seems to be raining underneath the shelter, I don't know how uh, don't know how that works. But um, yeah, I've moved the uh, the seeds and the uh, and the fertilizer off the trailer, as you can see, and I've parked up the uh, couple of vehicles underneath here while it's raining. Um, the fields are still growing, uh, which is really cool. Uh, don't forget we fertilised the sugar cane, but some of that, which was a bit of a pain, um, we're going to try and set up today. Um, was I had to keep cleaning the, um, I had to keep cleaning the sheep. Um, you know they're getting very messy. So I'll just stick this here so I know where it is. So we're going to take that off. And we're going to head to the shops. Some of you are probably already guessing what I'm going to be uh, going to be looking at. But um, basically I was keeping this compact tractor at the top there just to clean the uh, clean the messy sheep messy sheeps up. I don't know, is that is that a word? Um, yeah, to uh, to clean them up. And uh, I was thinking, well, it's a waste of a tractor, really. Um, so why don't I get something else there instead? Now, we briefly touched on this mod, I think, uh, 2015, possibly. Or maybe 2017, but... I know, it was a while ago. Um, so hopefully I can remember how to set it up correctly. But, uh, yeah, we're going to... Uh, is, is it the Luno or the Luna? I don't know. When we get to the shop, we'll find out what it is. But, oh, it's a terrible day. Look at it pouring um, I might increase the time we can't do anything today uh, we can't even help our neighbor out with the harvesting you know rain cause play unfortunately so let's uh, let's increase the time probably to to 30 so you can see the cleanliness of the sheep at the moment is 83% um, wow the fog you can't even see the shot from here that's crazy um, yeah, so I was having to sort of jump up, you know, fast forward in time, having to jump up, clean the sheep, because the productivity does drop uh, if it's too dirty. So, I thought, wow, well, we got a little bit of money. I know I'm trying not to not to spend it, but it just makes my life so much easier. And, uh, of course, keeps the uh, sheep nice and clean. Right, we are here. Okay, let's open the shop menu, and I believe it's in the animals, and... Ta da Lely, the Juno, 150. Okay, so the clean feeding areas with less labour, angle sets the movement radius, falls backwards in centimetres, blinker buttons show alignment guides, uh, start helper at the centre in front of trough. Okay, so, we're going to give this a go. It's uh, 12,000, it's a bit, bit, bit expensive. Uh, we'll go for a nice blue colour, and uh, design... Oh yeah, hundred percent need the beacons. <laughs> so twelve thousand two hundred, but it's going to save me a lot of trouble and a lot of hassle. Uh, we need to set up the uh, a charging station for it as well. But we're going to uh, connect this. I think there we go. Oh, brilliant! So we're going to take this up to the uh, to the farm. Um, up to the sheep farm. Uh, I won't make you uh, sit here and watch it. I'll probably uh, probably cut it here, and I'll see you back at the farm. Okay, we're nearly here. Um, I was actually just thinking: does the rain clean the tractors? Because um, I thought the tractor was a lot dirtier than it actually is. I don't know whether the rain is cleaning it for me. Or Possibly not. I don't know. Weird. 
Okay, so we'll plop this down next to the um, to the food trough, trough, and. We'll set this up. Hopefully I can remember how to do it. Okay. Uh, let's go there. Boom. Okay. Can't believe it's raining. So you can enter this like any other vehicle, and you can... Uh, start the engine, turn the beacons on, and you can move around. But what we want to do is... Now if I bring up the F1 menu, you see the change of angle. Uh, we're going to change that to a thousand. And we're going to go into the middle. And you see how it picks up all the grass and gets rid of all that for us. Now if you put it into the center here, essentially you can hire the worker. Now this should go up and down pretty much all day long. There we go. And it should go back. It's not, not the quickest in the world. Okay. And then that should go back to just past here. Around here. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, so that's going to do that all day long. Now, I have tested it. It doesn't actually cost any... Even though you hire a worker, it does not cost any any money or wages or anything. Obviously, because it's a robot. Robots in disguise. Uh, but that's just going to keep going that up and down, cleaning the, uh, cleaning the mess from the sheep. And what we do need to purchase, though, is a uh, placeable. Uh, it's a charging pad. So every so often, we have to charge it up. Basically, it's like a... Ref you know, you've got to refuel it after a while um, there we go so a charging station it's only 120 pounds but we've got to figure out where we're going to put it um, I don't think you could put it anywhere here I'll tell you what we'll put it up right by the probably right by here yeah there we go so we uh, don't want it in the way because um, we can always drive it over so it's no problem yeah I think that's pretty good Boom, we'll pop it there. Okay, so that's the charging area. So if you go in here and, and enter, you see it's got 499 litres and it's using 12 litres an hour. Um, so yeah, uh, when it says fuel, it's not as electricity. But um, but yeah, that's going to keep going for a while. And it's also going to save us a lot of uh, a lot of time and effort to you know to keep this uh, keep this clean. So there we go. So the cleanliness is at 100%. The productivity is at 99%. I don't know why it's at 99%. Not sure. But um, yeah, we'll leave, uh, we'll leave our mate here to do uh, to do his thing. Uh, if you want to name him, you can. Yeah, you know, leave some uh, leave some names down below. We can name our robot. That's, uh, that sounds pretty cool. So one thing I'll, I do want to do this episode is sell the uh, the wool. So um, I am going to do another cut here, and uh, when we come back, I'm just going to go grab the grab the pallet forks, and when we come back, we're going to go sell some wool. Bring it on! Ah, look at this! It's uh, it's turning nice. It's um, quarter to five, and it's starting to get a bit sunny, which is lovely. Uh, I've just gone and uh, grabbed the uh, the uh, the forks. So, I'm going to check out where to sell the wool. I don't know whether there's a spinnery on the map. Um, we'll have to check that out. It's not too much of a drive to uh, from the you know from the main farm up to the uh, to the sheep farm. But let's have a look where we're gonna where we're gonna sell it. Um, okay, there should be like a wool icon. Um, Probably the shop, is it? Oh, it wouldn't be here, would it? No. Um. Let's pick it up and hopefully it should tell us where to sell it. 
and how much have we got of it? We've got um, 71%, so 1,430 litres. Okay, that's great. So let's see where we can sell it. Um, it should say on here. Actually, it should be on here, shouldn't it? This is, uh, wool. There we go. It was sent it to... Oh, the spinnery. There is a spinnery. So where is the spinnery? Spinnery, bioglass grain. Ah, spinnery. There we go. We're at the... Uh, oh, gosh. The other side of the map. They're making us work hard for this, aren't they? Well, um, I'm not going to make you uh, sort of sit with me while I'm, uh, while I'm taking the wool. But... Uh, I'm quite conscious about doing so many cuts, but um, but yeah, I'll see you in a second. Okay, it's starting to get late. It's uh, quarter to eight, um, so probably what we're going to do is sell this uh, this wool, and then we do another cut until uh, until morning when we uh, going to be harvesting again. Wow, it, it seems like uh, yesterday. I think it was yesterday I started harvesting. Uh, but you know what I mean. Um, okay. So I think this is going to bring in a, a good price for us. Uh, so place your bets. Um, it is here. Maybe we want to. Ah, there we go. 11,288. Yeah, that's not, that's not bad. Considering it costs us a bit of grass. Um, and some water. Happy days. So how many uh, how many sheep do we have? Uh, we've got twenty two now. Uh, obviously because we had uh, we had a, a sheep um, <laughs> reproduced, I guess. Um, uh, yeah, um, it'd be quite nice to get to a hundred sheep. I think that'd be uh, that'd be fairly good. Uh, we just need to top up on the water and the grass uh, at some point, but that's good for. Uh, for tonight, um, but yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pause it here again. I'm sorry, uh, but it's only instant for you guys, uh, and uh, we'll be back. I'm gonna increase the speed, and we'll be back tomorrow when uh, yeah when we're harvesting. How cool is that? And hopefully get to our dream goal of owning field number three. Uh, what's this episode thirteen? We may be able to do it. Yeah, you know, by episode fifteen, we may have uh, field three. In our uh, in our repertoire, but uh, yep, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, it's me again. <laughs> uh, it's still night. Uh, one thing I didn't show you is all the expenses we get at midnight. So I just wanted to uh, to show you guys what we're actually outlaying. Boom! There we go. Um, oh, we got plus forty five for property income. Don't know what that means. Um, property maintenance uh, three. So it's not actually that bad. It's it's what four, five, six, seven. So it's probably around about four grand that we're paying out. Um, that's to me that's pretty good. Um, well, probably just a bit over four. Yeah, about four and a half thousand. Don't know what that plus forty property income is. Um, I don't know. Are we renting the bedroom in our mansion? Uh, no idea. Like, would it tell me in the logs? It's interesting. Um, where am I looking? Finances. 45, property income. No, it doesn't tell me. It just says a 40. Um, okay. Maybe the... Uh, we didn't buy the solar panel sh uh, shed, did we? So I'm not quite sure. Nope. No idea. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Good morning. Um, okay, so I've, I've been mesmerised. I've been watching this thing go up and down. I don't know why. I'm just absolutely mesmerised by it. Uh, so you can see it's hard to use any power. It's going to last us a good long while before we need to worry about that. Okay, so today we're going to fire up this beast. Yeah, turn those beacons on. It's harvest day again. So we've got 100 and, uh, nearly 130 in the bank. It's killing me not spending that money, you know. But I'm working towards a goal. 
and that goal is field number three. So just think, fairly soon we're going to be able to join field number three, field number one and two all together to have one big monster field. And with one harvest of those, um, this monster field, we're going to upgrade our equipment quite a lot. Which is great. This is what we need. I think we've done really well with the equipment that we've got. And, um... We'll have to see what the farmer's doing next to us. It looks like there may be a mission. And obviously we need to start, you know, to keep increasing our reputation with him. So if Ewan starts that, off he pops, that lovely canola, black gold as we call it, and uh, yeah, I'm going to get you, um, I'm going to get into the grain trailer and set up, uh, set up Ewan to unload Zachary's seed. And obviously we've got the sugar cane to saute as well. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah, so it looks like the uh, the rain didn't clean the uh, clean the vehicles. This is still filthy. Okay, so we've got course play. Um, empty combine. So we're going to load that one. And it should tell us where to start. And the combine is going to be the bison. I try not to drive on the crop. Whoops, whoops. We haven't got crop description, but uh, I still don't like doing it. Okay, so there we go. She's just going to look after the combine and unload when and if necessary. He's probably going to get blocked there, isn't he? Uh, okay, well, we'll worry about that in a second. Okay, so we are going to be sugarcane harvesting as well. It's kind of sort of rinse and repeat, isn't it? You know, it's... Uh Let's grab that. And if you remember, we hired a, uh, we leased a big trailer. So I think we're going to do that again. Um, that actually worked out really well. There we go. Uh, we fertilised it this time, so it should yield us. Uh, it should yield us more. Let's drop that there and go pick up the the sugarcane harvest. So I left that out. But it's very hard. There's nowhere to put it because it's so tall. I don't know whether you can actually fill this up or not. Um, but uh, hopefully it's uh, all working. Okay, it looks like helper. Yeah. Okay, he's going to be right the way. Beautiful. Oh, he's going to drive over the crops. He's going to drive through the harvester. Okay, back it in. What are you doing? Alright, let's set him up again. Sometimes if you change things, course plate doesn't like it. Okay, there might be a fertilizer mission uh, for our neighbor, which is good. Doesn't take too long. There we go. Not sure what he's doing. He should be waiting. Oh, okay, he's just gonna. Okay. We'll leave him be. Uh, we connected now. Yes, we've connected. 
Okay, so I want to do a fertilizing job for our neighbor. Um, one, brings in the money, but more importantly, two, it reduces the cost of that field. Uh, let me unfold it. How do I unfold X? There we go. Just because it's probably easier to... Yeah, that's never going to connect that way. Come on. You going to connect for me? I don't know, is it me or have they really... Uh, have they really um, sort of gone, not picky, that's the wrong word, but more realistic now with the hitching points of the... Because that's pretty close. It needs to be pretty close. So let's uh there we go. Let's unfold it. And are right, the worker. Brilliant. So we're doing that, hopefully Ewan, yeah, he's coming round and he'll be unloading Zachary's harvester. Oh gosh, I've left the time on. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Nightmare. Whoops. Okay, so I left the time on 120. Didn't mean to. It looks like we're going to be working through the night this episode. But he's doing that. Let's uh, let's do another mission for our uh, our friend. I keep forgetting his name. At least his name won't matter soon when we buy his field. Ha ha ha. Lead him into a false sense of security. Yeah, we're pretending to be his friend. And then we'll take it for a steal. Pablo. Pablo Guerrera. Okay. Hey, I just wish you have some uh, uh, extra time on your hands to fertilize the field for me. Yeah, we do. And uh, we will. Yeah, we'll use that. Why not? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm trying to buy the field. Okay. Let's start them. Turn the beacons on. Put some lights on. So what's uh, this is a case two seventy. Oh gosh, I'm way off. There we go. So I don't know what the uh, the spread is like on this. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's pretty big. Okay. Well, I can do this by hand. Um, I'm not going to time lapse it. You guys can. Uh, sit and watch it now I mentioned before and somebody actually said in the uh, in the um, in the comments that uh, no no your workers do carry on when you do missions and I was like no they don't but clearly they must do um, so I don't know what I've seen whether I've seen a, a little glitch or something um, but uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't see them harvest well yeah but uh, I don't know I don't know how or why but that's that's working brilliantly. That's what I wanted. We're all working. Me, you, and Zachary, Mary Jane. You can see the sugar cane's at 4%. And it should go up to 5% soon, I hope. No, it's staying at 4%. Ah, strange. Okay, it must be. It must have crashed or something because it's at 0 miles an hour. It's not working right. Not sure. I'm not fully convinced, but I can see it with my own two eyes there that, that they do work <laughs> when I do missions, which is great. I can't wait to join these fields up together. It's not going to be long, and we, you know, we need to buy a serious sea drill, I think, and a and a tractor. Um. That's gonna. That's gonna be what we need straight away. So 
so we can uh, handle the bigger size fields and it doesn't take us too long it doesn't cost us more money uh, obviously with you and Zachary doing it so you can see the Juno is still working which is great I haven't checked the comments below yet so um, you know in the previous episode to see if, uh, if you guys have actually named the robot I don't know whether you, <laughs> you would or not but um, yeah little Juno He's doing a job for us. I can't believe I fast forward the time again. Thankfully, I think Wyvern is uh, is off, so we haven't lost any crops. But uh, it'd be interesting to see how much uh, how much more wood we got. Um, anyway, we've got an extra whole day's uh, worth of. With wool production, I guess. But uh, I certainly didn't mean to do that. And we're at 58% canola. And um, yeah, we need to figure out what's going on with the sugarcane. It's probably stuck. So, again, as I said about uh, buying this field, uh, we want to make sure there is actually a crop to harvest um, when we buy the field. And that way we can take advantage of all Pablo's hard work and um, yeah, we can have his harvest as well. So we can uh, have our cake and eat it, as it were. Is it going to make me go down that other side just for that little bit? I think it is, isn't it? I don't know how far I can move over. Whoa, that's pretty good. Oh. Look at that. Hopefully. It will ding in a minute and say congratulations. Well done. Yeah. Boom. Thanks so much. Okay, so we got uh, five and a half grand. Beautiful. That's uh, that's great. So at the moment it's at uh, two hundred thirty thousand, um, and he's uh, yeah, we're a long way there. Cool. All right, let's go see. Oh, you are working. See, this is what I'm saying. I, it must have stopped. I don't I don't know why. Um, yeah, it was just showing at four uh, percent. It's at six percent now. So maybe it. It just doesn't update my um, inspector mod, possibly. I'm not sure. So we've got another tractor here. What can we do? You're looking after yourself. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, thirty percent. Okay, so we need to fill the water and grass. So let's do that. While well, everything else is working, so let's turn you on. Turn the beacons on. Put the lights on. Drop the fertilizer. Let's head on up to the up to the sheep farm. Give him some more food, some more water. It's just nice. My little minions are all working, making me money. So it'll be interesting to see your uh, your thoughts on uh, Juno, whether you think it's a good idea or not. Hopefully you do. Uh, Twelve thousand pounds, just you know, to to stop having to come up to the sheep farm to uh, you know to clean them. To me, is a pretty good deal. So what I'll probably do is we're going to fast forward time again. Um, we'll max the time out and we'll do this quickly in the dark and then the next video it'll be nice and bright and early and we'll continue with our our harvest Ooh. let's see if we don't hit uh, Juno
Grass is not accepted there, of course it isn't. Well, I don't know what Junior is going to do. He's going to have to wait while we just do this quickly. Okay. Brilliant. So, we, yeah, we're still over halfway on our rented trailer here, which is great. So we don't need to worry about uh, cutting any grass soon. Yeah, the sheep, it really did pay off really well. Um, we had... Yeah, for 14, was it 14 and a half litres of, uh, of wool? It paid off really well. Let's give them some water. Uh, we've got the loan interest still. Uh, we've got plus 120 property income. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Um, right, let's leave you here. Yeah. If anybody got any uh, ideas on the property income, then you, you'd have to let us know on that one. But for the time being, from me and Juno, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you the next episode. Take care and ciao for now.